right. Uh, let's move into our second item of the day. Speaking of dumb, uh, this is <laughs> I've titled Dimming the Sun is Dumb. Uh, this is from Breitbart. Uh, scientists look to dim the sun to counter, quote, runaway climate change. Uh, reading from the piece here a little bit before we react. The UK government is poised to approve experiments that seek to dim sunlight and deflect it away to fight, quote, runaway climate change, a report on Wednesday claims. According to the Daily Telegraph, a host of possible options for climate control are being considered by scientists with government approval alongside a 50 million, pound in, 50 million pounds in taxpayer funds. Outdoor field trials, which could include injecting aerosols into the atmosphere or brightening clouds to reflect sunshine, are being considered by scientists as a way to prevent, quote unquote, runaway climate change. ARIA, the government's advanced research and invention funding agency, has set aside 50 million pounds for projects which will be announced in the coming weeks. Professor Mark Symes, the program director for ARIA, Advanced Research and Invention Agency, is reported by The Telegraph to have confirmed that there will be, quote, small controlled outdoor experiments on particular approaches. Quote, we will be announcing who we have been giving funding to in a few weeks. And when we do so, we will be making clear when any outdoor experiments might be taking place. Good. We have fair warning. Uh, anyway, the Telegraph uh, notes that the geoengineering projects which seek to artificially alter the climate have proven controversial with critics arguing that they could bring damaging knock-on effects. Uh, now, Lene, I want to start with you because you as the host of our Thursday show uh, in the Tank podcast, also at 1 p.m. Eastern time every Thursday. Uh, you picked this as a topic to cover over there, but I, I thought it was good to bring it up on the Climate Realism Show sh so we can dig a little bit deeper into it. So uh, does this kind of idea invoke fear in you that something could go wrong, maybe mirth or disgust? I mean, is this remotely a good idea? Um, mostly just like big size. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't think fear is the right word. I don't, I'm not afraid. Um, I think that in order for it to have some kind of like runaway catastrophic effect, it would have to be very, very significant. <laughs> I don't think, you know, them throwing some balloons up in the air and busting them at high altitude with what is it like salt particles that they're is one of the methods that they're looking at. Um, doing that over the oceans is going to cause like some like, next ice age or something but it is very stupid and it is a huge waste of money and it's um completely unnecessary and so yeah i think it's dumb and i thought i also think some of the some of the impacts that i can foresee having like a real problematic uh, effect would probably be like depending on what they're using you could, yeah, that's right, redneck. Um, you could have a, uh, you know, if if the stuff was to fall out onto the soil or something, I could foresee that being a problem depending on what it is that they're using. Um, but yeah, I think probably Sterling would have more to say about this because he's uh, a little bit, you know, more relatively familiar with geoengineering stuff. But um, yeah, I think like we talked about on in the tank yesterday. There are probably there are some fair uses, I guess, for geoengineering. But I would say that like trying to dim the sun or trying to reflect the sun's energy back into space is probably not one of them in current year yeah. <laughs> weather conditions. I mean, Sterling, is, doesn't this sound like uh, the plot of one of those Pierce Brosnan era Bond movies? I mean, blocking out the sun. Jeez. For which we pay them lots and lots of money not to do that. Right. Uh, in, in a Bond movie, you know, he'd extort the world. Uh, you know, I, I suppose uh, Mars reflects a lot of sun back into space. I, I don't consider that an ideal environment to live in. You know, a lot of things strike me about this. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, America's a pretty litigious society, if they're now opening themselves up to lawsuits from America for altering the climate in non-optimum uh, ways by putting pollutants, regulated pollutants intentionally, you know, sulfur dioxide is one of those pollutants. We worry about acid rain. We started, we reduced it here. Uh, now the English in their infinite wisdom want to put it back up there intentionally, not related by the way to energy production, but just to do it. Uh, you know, at least we got the benefit of energy production when we were putting it out there before. Does anyone really think it's a good idea for the uh, British empire 
for which the sun has set on, um, <laughs> being in control of uh, or trying to control the sun's uh, output to the earth. I, you know, I just think it's a, I see sci-fi movies in the future and I see lawsuits in the future if they continue down this path. I'd like to throw something in here. Uh, I'm going to have Matt Landman on my podcast in a week or two, and he has a movie called Franken Skies about weather modification. I learned a ton from that movie just from all the mainstream clips that he has in there. You don't have to listen to anything that he says, but just look at, at all the clips and the history of attempted weather modification goes back over 100 years. It sounds like it's just a conspiracy theory, but there's all this mainstream reporting about this is what they did, this is what happened. So this whole idea that they're just starting to try it now is just not true. It has been tried. A lot yeah. in the past already. So I am worried about what will happen if the crazy people continue doing this stuff, especially uh, a Bill Gates type of funded person, what they can do. I am afraid of that. Well, Lene, we've talked about cloud seeding before on this program. I know Anthony is uh, is not able to make it today, but, um, you know, there is some small level of, you know, attempts to modify the weather to affect it in certain ways, but it's really kind of on the margins. And this seems like a, you know, I get. I just just the idea that because you have enough money or research money, and you know, and you're among the people that well, you're panicked about the climate, and you think that gives you the right to block out the freaking sun. I mean, who do you think you are doing that kind of stuff? I mean, but yeah, I, it especially since you know this is a government project. Um, that is, well, it's a government funded project by mostly, I think, universities and private organizations. Um, the public doesn't get to have a say in this, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I think that's something that would definitely be an issue. Uh, we've talked about it on climate realism before, how um, the the issue of like property rights and stuff is something that the government has largely trampled on with environmental regulation but now they're doing something so reckless like this and you know the people who potentially live below where they're doing this don't get to say no yeah so yeah that's that's a problem that i foresee shutting some of this stuff down yeah well, just, all i know is if if i'm a beach goer and i don't care where i would be if they actually dim the sun I'm I'm calling my lawyer. <laughs> when I schedule my vacations to the beach, I don't intend it to be like dusk, twenty four hours a day. I I want full sun. Uh, if I'm worried about skin cancer, I'll wear my sunblock. Uh, but what I don't want is sunblock in space. Yeah, yeah, and as as we pointed out yesterday, and people in the in the chat have also pointed out, I mean, there's some there seems to be something especially cruel about doing a blocking out the sun experiment in the UK where, you know, yeah. <laughs> a warm sunny day is, you know, not as quite as common, let's just say in the United States. So good luck to our UK viewers. I know we have a lot, uh, we, we have, we have a lot of you and we're thankful for you, but, uh, we'll keep an eye on this. Hopefully you will get as much sunshine as you can handle.